Hi there. So many grand masters have been on both sides of this trap in the Sicilian Schreveningen that I'm just calling it the GM night deflection trap. And I should note some of the GMs who have executed this trap with the white pieces. Reindemann, Smirin, Jakovenko, Petrosian and Naya. e4 and c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight f6 and knight c3. a6, black plays the Nydorf and white plays bishop e2. After e6, so we've entered into the Sreveningen and castles, queen c7, and white plays a4, an extremely common position. Black's going to continue developing and castle short usually. Bishop e7. White plays bishop e3, castles, and f4. After knight c6 and uh, the type of prophylactic common move here, king h1. Rook e8. And uh, we've reached the beginning of this trap position. Here, white can play moves like uh, queen e1 with the idea of swing the queen over to the king side bishop g1 has also been played knight b3 and queen d2 all common ideas but the move we're looking at here is uh, this attractive move a5 uh, offering up that a pawn because black certainly can play knight takes on a5 the idea of a5 is to support the b6 square which, uh, if black can get a knight or a bishop in there, can give white a comfortable advantage. So if black takes a pawn, nothing really wrong with it. Knight takes on a5. We've deflected that knight away from its square on c6, where it was watching over e5. And now white can continue aggressively with the move e5. And this is where black can go wrong. Black really should take d takes on e5. After f takes on e5, queen takes on e5. White's given up a pawn, but very active piece play. Bishop f4 targets the queen, which can move to c5. And black's actually okay here. This has got to be around equal. But uh, black might be a bit afraid of giving white so much uh, spatial advantage that after e5, can play this uh, pawn move, knight d5. And here white is already going to be pretty much winning on all variations because of this move, which black might have not seen this sacrifice on e6 easy to to miss knight takes on e6 and now let's have a look at uh, black's options if black takes with say the f pawn then we're going to see knight takes on d5 and now after the recapture e takes on d5 queen takes on d5 is check with a nice sizable advantage for black as that knight on a5 the deflected knight on a5 is going nowhere and that's going to be taken and again after knight takes on e6 if black continues bishop takes on e6 we can expect knight takes on d5 bishop takes d5 queen takes on d5 again hitting the knight on a5 so the knight's going to come back into the center with knight c6 but now bishop c4 is threatening the the pawn on f7 so the knight goes back all the way to d8 to defend. Queen relocates to e4. D takes on e5. And bishop d3 threatening queen takes h7. Black's going to defend with g6. And after f5, again, a very comfortable and healthy initiative here for white. So this has been the GM knight deflection trap in the Sicilian Sreveningen. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.